Hey, we're live. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to season two now of Health or High Water. I'm your host, Brett, with the awesome Mr. Trip Parks. Well, thank you so much, man. Season two. I need a better adjective for you than awesome. The wildly eccentric Trip Parks here. <laughs> you know, it's, I don't think you're allowed to make that noise past Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh, yeah, happy Turkey Genocide Day to everybody, or past Turkey Genocide Day. I uh, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we're here with Bethany. What's going on, Bethany? How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing great. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Um, Bethany, Bethany Sturgis uh, is uh, a lot of things, but um, I think the important thing and the reason why we want to have her on today, uh, a lot of reasons, is she's a pelvic floor specialist um, and the owner of... Uh, Pelvic Harmony, Mm -hmm. Um, very passionate about health and fitness. So we want to learn a little bit. Actually, we want to learn a lot a bit about you. Um, So uh, why don't we just get right into it? Like, um, first of all, where did you grow up? So I'm originally from Pennsylvania, near Scranton, if you know the office. It's always the comment I get. Um, I went to college out there, moved to Philly for my first job, and then my next job had in Boston for a little bit. And then moved to Denver almost four years ago. Four years. Yeah. Okay. What? Why pelvic? What was the? Why pelvic health? So I didn't actually know I was interested in it until I went to a course about it. Um, at my previous job, it was an outpatient PT clinic, um, and I had an opportunity to go and take this course and discovered that I loved it and it was so interesting and intriguing to me and mm. that started it. Mm. What's what's the what is the big thing about pelvic health from somebody who we we've had uh, you know Dr. Nikki Popper on who mm-hmm. actually turned out to be one of our best episodes. Yeah. So obviously it's incredibly important. Yeah. Um, and I think it's it's getting bigger bigger now. People are realizing the importance of it. Mm-hmm. But to somebody who doesn't know, what's like the big thing with pelvic health? Is it all around pre- pregnancy? Is it do men have to worry about pelvic floor? Mm-hmm. Pregnancy is one of the biggest um, indicators to go see someone. Um, as well as postpartum after you've had your baby, as, as well as any like dysfunction, like any trouble with going to the bathroom, with going to the bathroom too often, or any like kind of sexual dysfunction, we can address that as well. Um, so obviously a few of those things are also relative to males, um, definitely less common, whether that's just that males report it less, they go to their doctor less about it. Mm-hmm. Um, females tend to go seek help more often. Um, so yeah, it's definitely more common to see females, but males can also benefit from it a lot. Mm. Yeah, well, now that you are in Ascend Performance Training, which <laughs> by the way, <laughs> we are so excited. We are, we are, Chip and I were talking about it and just so how excited we are. We've had so many people that have been asking us for for not just that, but how niche that is mm-hmm. and how big that niche has grown. And like you said, it's not it's not just females. Mm-hmm. There's there's also a lot of men that that need that help too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely every kind of person, no matter what your history has been, like it could be from an injury if you're an avid cyclist. Sometimes that can cause some issues with the nerves around the pelvis and that, like, repeated pressure. So, yeah. So biking's unhealthy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to slam some friends on here. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it does happen, though, with a lot of cyclists mm-hmm. because, you know, their hips are moving in a right. uh, yeah, in a repetitive stress type of motion. What's mm-hmm. – um, so what's your what's your mission? What's your goal with like um, you know the business? Obviously, starting a business is exciting. Um, at, at a new location is very exciting. Um, you know we're super thrilled to have mm-hmm. you, and I know we're gonna do amazing things together. What's like what's like your end goal and your dream like like with this in the future and down the road? Yeah, I would love to see it grow to where I have a few different clinicians, and they all have their patient caseload and they're just helping people like crazy and right now I'm just so excited to see where all the education that I've done up to this point and learning from my business owner friends and all of everything that comes with that I'm excited to see that play into this journey that I'm taking 
Mm. So <clears throat> you're starting a whole new venture here, owning mm-hmm. your own business and whatnot. You know, for the for our listeners right now, uh, thinking about getting into small business and doing yeah. their own thing, how has the process been for you, and what advice could you give them? It's been a very very large learning curve. Um, but once you start learning about it, like for me, I just wanted to keep learning more and more and reach out to other friends who I know who own businesses and get their advice if I have an idea. Um, so I would definitely suggest find some people that you can have in contact with frequently to ask them questions or their opinion or their experience with their journey. That's been really big for me. Um, and podcasts and books and seminars and all that stuff is so fun and it's so educational and it'll just help you whether it seems like it's something that'll help or not it's still probably going to help yeah you 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 could tell you love it like you can tell like you're passionate about it like that's that's the root of all all the success right like you know, finding something you truly love yeah. and something you find interesting and valuable. And mm-hmm. I think you found something, obviously, that's all of those mm-hmm. things. Um, that's exciting. We're so excited to have you as part of this. So um, so what's, um, you know, you have some clients now. You're working with a few mm-hmm. people. Um, is it, is anybody free to contact you? Is Are there things you specialize in? Are there things like, hey, I also do soft tissue work with, this and that what's kind of like who can contact you and who can you service and Mm -hmm. you know what's the scope of your practice yeah everyone is obviously very welcome to reach out um i'll give my email a little later and the website um and then we'll kind of go over your history and what you're looking to get out of it and if i think i'm the best one for the job i will tell you but if not i will be honest and i won't waste your time or your money and i'll tell you if it's not the case, but I will also do my best to send you to someone and not just say, go, I'm not the one, like go find someone, but yeah, anyone can reach out and we'll figure it out. The main things that I will be focusing on, obviously like pregnancy and postpartum issues, as well as any type of like incontinence, whether that's urinary or bowel, um, pelvic pain, whether that is acute or if it's been chronic for a while. So, yeah. So, uh, excuse me, have you ever worked with patients that have had dementia or strokes before? Not in this pelvic health population, not yet. Uh, I'm just just curious, my mom mm-hmm. had a stroke and uh, turned to dementia and I had to take, you know, she was very incontinent and yeah. it was hard and whatnot. I didn't know if there was mm-hmm. something for our listeners to, to maybe give their uh, their loved ones if they're going through something like that, maybe some exercises or some stretches that mm-hmm. they could do or, or, or whatnot, but I mean, it's just, it's just a hard one, you know, it's... yeah. It is, especially with stroke, if those nerves are damaged and it really depends person to person how much function they have. Um, I do believe everything is rehabable at least, you know, somewhat a percentage. I can't guarantee 100 percent and it's always worth looking into it. Oh, yeah. I I still believe that she can at least get some control of it over the few years if she, Mm -hmm. you know, works really hard at, you know, this rehab and, and, and whatnot. But it's a. It's scary, you know, like imagine already not knowing where you're at and not knowing what's going on and you're wearing a diaper and you're, you're pissing yourself and mm, doing other yeah. things. And you're, you're all confused about it and mm-hmm. there's just, you know, something, you know, I know Kegel exercises might be good for that kind of stuff too mm-hmm. and, and whatnot, but I, yeah, just, just, I, ha- I had to throw that out there. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's talk more about you. I want to learn more about the, the side of Bethany we don't <laughs> know about. So, uh, uh, what do you do for fun? So it's winter coming up right now, so skiing, um, hiking in the summer, and a big hobby all year round is honestly like all my house plants in my apartment. I have probably <laughs> I have probably like forty of them. Oh, forty! So 40 yeah, plants. they're like children. Do you like se- like sex to, or section them by like how you need to water them, or like you just kind of free for all? I just remember. <laughs> <laughs> I would forget it. Be like, oh, well, this, succ- this succulent's two weeks or maybe it's four weeks. I don't know. Like, Have you named yeah. your plants? Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Percentage-wise, how many of those uh-huh. 40? Um, Probably like 3%. Uh-huh. Not too oh, many. Not no. 40? Yeah. Try to do the math. Like two. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one or two. Yeah. Um, all right, so you got a lot of plants, mm-hmm. uh, big on plants, mm-hmm. uh, skiing, hiking. Have you done a 14er? Not yet. 
Next year. Not yet. I wanted to do one a couple years ago, but I was having actually hip and pelvis issues, mm. and so I couldn't go. But now I'm ready. Well, this is a question for both of you guys, really. Is So, obviously, if there's a season for 14ers, like, is it that mm-hmm. rough up there this time of year that you just, it's impossible, or do, do people I do mean, it? I mean, it's freezing cold. It's mm-hmm. really cold, very windy. You're up to oh, above your knees in snow. It just makes for, yeah, it just makes for a very long, like, arduous journey. Oh. Like, very cold. The wind's just whipping in your face. Yeah. That sounds more brutal than a bad day skiing oh on my a God. mountain. She's not even close. Awful. Like, yeah. Yeah, winter 14ers are not – doesn't. I've done one, and it wasn't terrible, but I got lucky. It wasn't freezing, but it was not fun. Dang, dude, that's like Gross. Bear Grylls. Gross. That's bear Grylls. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what else? Uh, you got kids? You married? Not married, no kids. Not married, no kids. All the all the energy and attention focused yes. on the business. Yep. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, where do you live? Westminster. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. my hood. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That's where you're from. Yeah, we're not too far. The eight double O or the date eight double O three one. Oh, <laughs> I- <laughs> <laughs> way too long. The eight four six. It'll catch on. It'll catch on. Like- I'm the I'm the three zero. Oh. oh snap! All yeah. right. Well, I mean, I'm actually moving here, <laughs> moving here this week to like a, oh. to a new house, and I don't know. I might get the new zip code, might not. You didn't even tell know. me that. Wow. Well, yeah, I was moving this weekend. I was like Nathan bought that house. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I've been helping him. You know. Are you moving in there? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. thought I thought that I didn't. Yeah, we we, we kind of like decided gotcha. it like kind of quick when you were a little sick and okay. I, don't, I don't want to put that evil on you, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we've mentioned on season one now. Now we're on season two about. Me almost dying. <laughs> yeah. Of the oh yeah, there's a there's a huge cliffhanger here. Oh <laughs> no, yeah, he's alive. I'm back. Uh, I am not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to put it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you know, what? honestly though, I did I do feel like I have a new perspective on life. I'm not even kidding. Mm-hmm. That's how sick I was. Mm-hmm. Is that like like when you get sick? Like I was really upset. I got sick because um, mm-hmm. I take such good care of my body, but. Um, you know, maybe it was stress Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, that's just goes to show you how important it is to like, you know, take care of your health because when you're bedridden, man, it is brutal. Kills you. Mm. Nothing Mm. worse than feeling helpless like that. Yeah. Yes. That's that's terrible, man. Mm. But I'm back. Here you are. I'm here. I'm moving. But, uh, anyways, yeah. So that's why I was gone last week. I'm sure. Sure, you guys remember Tripp's mentioning something on the last podcast. You can probably <laughs> feel the worry in my voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just my, my, just my jaw quivering. I yeah. Mean, that was probably the wrong word for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> uh, uh, so, when when you were building your when you're building your business or whatnot, mm-hmm. I was helping you a little bit with your logo and and whatnot. You've been killing it with your website. Looks absolutely absolutely amazing. When you're ch- when you're choosing this, and again, this is for uh, for uh, the entrepreneurs out there mm-hmm. and people thinking about getting into business themselves. Like, how did you pick the styling? How did you uh, wh- where did you learn how to build the website? Because it is it, honestly, it's, the website's pretty advanced. You know, for some, I've been doing websites for six, seven years right now. You know, on and off, and it's it's really great. So, where, where, a, where did you learn all this stuff? And, and b, how did you come up with the creative uh, creative design? Yes, Trip said it's good. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, for the logo, I was thinking theme-wise, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, it's kind of a delicate, flower-y-esque logo um, with the anatomy of the pelvis on it as well with the name. And I was, my goal was to embody kind of the style of my approach to people and a little bit of my personality in that logo and with the goals that I have for the business to be so nurturing to people and helpful to people in a genuine way i think that conveys all of that if that makes sense 100 percent 100 percent it looks great i have to get i have to check this website out i haven't seen it oh my god pull it up real quick i had pull it up i had no idea what is this what i was doing what is this website trip uh pelvicharmony.com right pelvicharmonyco.com oh i love that Let's check it out. If you guys are out there right now, if you're making your breakfast or you're driving mm-hmm. to work, don't do it while you're driving. <laughs> but if, if you not, f- film it. If you are oh. doing it, film it. Wow. PelvicHarmonyCO.com. 
This looks fantastic. They so killed it. She there's some nice it. tabs at the top. It's got pricing, location. It's got a tab to meet you, um, to learn about you. Wow, great picture, and a contact form at the bottom. Fantastic. So I went through Wix and I picked one of their templates that looked like generally what I wanted, and just went through and customized. It does take a bit of time. It's so time consuming. Honestly, just to figure out all the buttons and what they mean by section and anchor and all these terms that I don't know what they are. And mm -hmm. one of my friends was asking me for a few days in a row what I was going to do um, that evening. And like three or four days in a row, I was like, website, <laughs> more hours on the website, working mm. it out. But I'm glad it looks good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good job. So, so do you, what do you like, what do you love about? kind of what you do like what is it about it like what's the what's the sauce for you because i could i could tell you for nine hours about what i love about personal training so mm -hmm. i'm always curious to get other professionals from different industries kind of you know what they love about their craft yeah i think with pelvic health for me it's seeing people regain that bit of control and freedom in their life in something an area that's been so impactful in their life whether it's only been a month or whether it's been like 10 years of them struggling with this. It's amazing when I can see them get back to that area of their life that they've been limited in for however amount of time it's been. It's, it's deeper to me. It's more impactful than like rehabbing your shoulder, which is great. And it's, there's a place and there's people who need it. Um, but it's like so much deeper and more impactful from how I see it. So when we're looking at pelvic health throughout our lives, you know, you see a lot of elderly people that have hip problems, ex mm -hmm. especially elderly people that have these hip problems down the road. Mm -hmm. What what does uh, a healthy pelvis look like, uh, and and how do how do people ob obtain a healthy pelvis? Mm -hmm. So there's so many factors. Um, the first one, obviously, that comes to mind, of course, with you guys too, um, training your body and training your muscles and your joints to be strong. Um, and keeping the integrity of those joints as much as is in your control. Um, obviously, there can be some genetic factors as well. And for a lot of people, there's also hormonal factors that you need to like have your doctor check and see if you're in the normal ranges because that affects some of the tissues of the pelvis and that can cause pain if they're off balance. So that's a really good, yeah, a big factor for a lot of people too. Yeah, you know, I see, um, maybe a little bit of a tangent, but I, I always see guys, I think it's more normal for women to have flexible hips. It's more like socially acceptable mm -hmm. for women to roll their hips. But I always see when I train guys too, I'm like, you don't need to move your hips. Like, in a like, but uh, how do I say this? It's like that, that the role of the hips is so great. And I think guys especially underutilize it and mm -hmm. it causes back problems you know mm -hmm. they become inflexible and you know i'm like damn man you, your hips have not moved mm -hmm. in in like 15 years yeah. I, I remember this one guy i i uh i tried to get him to hula hoop because that was the only thing he was this big <laughs> ox of a guy and i'm like dude if you could just hula hoop you'd fix all your back problems and so for like <laughs> for like six months he was trying to hula hoop. He finally got it. Nice. Shout out to Chad. Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Chad just hula hooping his life uh, away, man. Hey, whatever works, dude. Honestly, is it? Yeah. Whatever works. For sure. Uh, what's going? What else is going on? Uh, you know that you know the listeners might want to know. We got we got a lot of people that follow this podcast, um, looking for health stuff and like that. What mm -hmm. else? People kind of want to. What else is going on in your world in your life? So I do have this great new space with Ascend Performance. Let's go. Come check it out. Are you going to have a grand opening? And if so, can we help? Yes. And yes. Both. Okay. Yes. Can Trip give a speech? Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever oh, you want. just starts leaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bye. No, this isn't for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this <guy> sucks. <laughs> I knew this wasn't for me. Yeah. So that. And I got that. I got the website up. We've got the logo. We've got the Instagram yeah. pages up. Um, and other than business, just looking forward to the holidays, looking forward to skiing. Mm -hmm. New Year's going to be here. Feels like tomorrow. Yeah. Um, are you, what about dates? Have you decided about soft opening, uh, grand opening dates yet at all? Just Not yet. Just go yeah. I'm un unloading some equipment into the space today. 
So that'll be fun. Mm, there you mm. go. Yeah. Yeah, we're at uh, 1472 Jersey Street here. Right now we're in the little podcast studio. Um, we are uh, just on Colfax, just off Colfax, just west of Quebec mm-hmm. by about a uh, quarter mile. Right um, across in that big old Starbucks. There's a mm-hmm. big Starbucks across the street. And then we are just east of a City Park Golf Course. Um, for people who want to know, mm-hmm. everyone wants to know. <laughs> should, we, should we give them coor- coordinates? Yeah. <laughs> Latitude, <laughs> longitude. Thirty degrees by zero. <laughs> three clicks north. <laughs> Eight double zero three one. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, we're like you know when we saw the space in there, we we thought, God, we you know we had this dream and this picture and. And to now see it come to fruition and to see somebody to know that we, you know, we, we have our backs for, you know, our people that are coming in that, that need help with that is just such, it's so exciting. Like, Mm -hmm. um, I have no doubt this is going to take off and, Mm -hmm. you know, this community needs it, honestly, which is really cool. There's a big surrounding area here, um, of a lot of people that, that there's not a lot of other things like that in this direct vicinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just really cool to have the support of really cool people who are already doing awesome things for the community and to be invited in and welcomed in is, has been really cool for me. Mm, thank you. We need to have a little party is what we need to do. Yeah. We should start plan- planning a soft opening mm-hmm. um, and kind of make it official. And, and we'll, we'll do that. And we're super excited. We'll actually announce that, uh, I think, next podcast. We'll announce yeah. to the uh, listeners – you know, a date where they can come in and, and meet you and mm-hmm. get to know you. So I'm trying to think what else. So so uh, not married, no kids. Uh, you've been doing this for upwards of seven years. Um, you like to go skiing. You like to go hiking. Um, wh- give us give us something else. What else fun about you? Just personal, not business. Personal. I recently got a Nespresso <laughs> machine <laughs> that has changed my life. Yeah. And I haven't been to Starbucks in like a month. Oh my! Because I love it. It's is stainless great. steel. No. no, it's like a black mat. I'm gonna ruin some people's days real quick. <gasps> no. Starbucks addicts. Okay, good. Yeah, you're. you're, you're you saw the video yep. too. I'm out. Yes, the plastics <laughs> video. Man. Oh, I saw that. Is it, yeah. I mean, that. is it true? Yes. Let's talk about it. All right, so here's the so here's the premise of the video. <laughs> Was, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we're, gonna t- we're gonna talk about it so the premise of the video correct me if i'm wrong is that that uh there's plastic lining inside of the coffee cups mm-hmm. and yes. that microplastic because it's heated up is leaking mm-hmm. you know in the thousands of particles per millions yeah into yeah. the cup now is that true i don't know if i haven't looked it up is it true well, i mean logically if you have a paper cup and it's really just paper mm-hmm. it's not gonna hold water liquid Mm-hmm. Not without either a coating or or something right. like right, and then we, we, it's already proven that microplastics are everywhere in our in our mm-hmm. bodies, right? right from from you know, the way we preserve food and the containers it comes in. There's microplastics even in cold foods, but they, they were what the 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 hard part what they're saying was the heat accelerates the absorption mm-hmm. of uh, phytochemicals or whatever they're called, and then they get into the bloodstream and then it messes you all sorts of up. I think yeah. phytochemicals are plant chemicals. So maybe you're thinking of... I'm, I'm totally pl- wrong on that one. <laughs> 100%. Plastic uh, chemicals. Particles, yeah. yeah. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to look... There's going to be a lot of... We're going to do a follow-up podcast. Yeah. Uh, my chat GPT isn't working right now. So I can't you're going to so get... <laughs> you're going to get 100 DMs and they're like, no, it's not um, phytoplastic. The other thing too is like, you know, there is some some... There's like a balance, like the microwave. I've been trying to do the microwave a lot less. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's the same thing, you know, especially if you're doing plastic Tupperware. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a balance too, right? Like, because I'd rather eat healthy, but it's like how much damage is it doing? I think there needs to be some like definitive research that comes out, like measuring exactly instead of mm-hmm. being like, oh, it, yeah, it's leaking. It should be like, here's exactly what's happening. Over like 10 years. Yeah. Well, and too, it's like, Honestly, can we live without plastic? It's in every, it's our cl- it's in our clothes. It's it's in, it's in, in everything that we do. Mm-hmm. I mean, how much can, how much can our bodies deal with that's at a healthy level? I think that's one, another big question too. You know, mm-hmm. hey, what's what's it what's going to be a normal rate for us humans? Because plastic's not going away. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of this chemical stuff too. Like I see like drink mixes. Like what's the worst? Um, what's the most popular drink mix? Uh, it's like. 
um, the crystal, crystal light. light. Thank you. Like crystal mm-hmm. light was like does not contain phenol phthalates or whatever. Yeah. And it always concerns me when something says it does not contain. <laughs> like I'm like does not contain cancer. Right. Like thank God. Like thanks. Yeah. Like so you know there you know there's this stuff that but that's been going on for what mm-hmm. 60 70 years that, that we've just been putting these ingredients. Now this is the health wave I think Trip and I have talked about is like people are becoming aware of these mm-hmm. things like oh man this is really poisonous over a long period of time to mm-hmm. my body. So what, what, do you know anything about plastics affecting pelvic health at all or about pelvic uh, uh, hormones or, or whatnot? Is, is there any correlation there at all you, that you know of? I don't think I've seen specific research, but I would not be surprised if it's in there with a correlation to the hormones and the way your body processes. Well, I think I heard it again. Uh, f- everyone that's listening right now, f- definitely fact check this. <laughs> <laughs> photons um <laughs> but uh i i'm pretty sure that plastics directly are directly correlated at least in in, in humans with the males with testosterone loss mm. i heard mm-hmm. it, and as well as it increases estrogen so there's there's that and I, I can't mm-hmm. imagine what it would do to women because you guys you have way more going on and it's mm-hmm. way harder to keep in track and yeah one goes up two go down yeah you got it. it's it's it, it's a, a, a cluster f yeah yeah, I mean, I think the 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 ultimate thing is make your own food. See mm-hmm. if you can have a garden. Number one. Yeah. Um, the other thing too is like I've been concerned about is water. Mm-hmm. Like I've been really concerned about water. Like, yeah. It's bad. Yeah. Right. Like, Colorado that? water. Mm-hmm. It's awful. Like like they've tested it. It's really. Oh my God! You can get online right now and look at, like, you can look at the water. Like these are all lead pipes around here. Oh yeah. 100%. Good. And then Westminster, uh, the, mm-hmm. the, evidently there's like plutonium in the bottom mm-hmm. of the <laughs> reservoir. Plutonium is there? Oh my gosh. But like, like, no, it's totally safe. It's cool. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> this is, it's, it's in fine. the bottom of the lake. We don't pump from that we part. We can't change <laughs> it, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. We don't pump from that part. Yeah, I mean, we're not trying to not trying to get anybody paranoid about anything. Like, you're not going to die from drinking the water or, or uh, you know, cooking in the microwave. But I think these are just like habits that we're trying to get away from, right? Oh, a hundred percent. You know, I, I think, again, I think it's impossible to go your entire life without using a microwave again, you know, mm-hmm. unless you're out in the woods hunting and cooking your food on an open fire, which a lot of us are busy humans. Yeah. And I don't think we can get rid of plastics either. You know, uh, maybe there's a better substitute down the road or, or whatnot, but right now it's just, it's impossible. Like, and you're right. Those, those cups for Starbucks mm-hmm. getting back to our, our original conversation here is like, if there's no coating on that, that cardboard or that, that, that paper is going to soak up that, so there's there has got to mm-hmm. be something in between the something, paper and yeah. the liquid. Mm. A couple of my friends used to know me as the water snob because I would only buy spring water from this one store <laughs> because my boxing coach at the time had done a pH test on like 12 different brands and they were all different and this one spring water was the best one. That's legit. So my friends were like, you're so weird. You have a boxing coach? When I lived in Ohio. How long did you box yeah. for? Almost a year. A year? Yeah. Nice. I miss it. All right. All That's right. great. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> as ready as you can be. <laughs> it's so tough. I could not jab. Yeah. Uh-huh. Really? <laughs> well, no left hook. <laughs> <laughs> Just overhand right. Just <laughs> pummel claw. them. Yeah. Claw. That's a move, right? The cat thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know we're getting towards the end of the episode here. Um, why don't we give your contact information to everybody listening right now where they can find you. We'll, we'll give the address again. I'll, I'll mm-hmm. put everything in the bio uh, and description of the podcast so you guys can find it easy. And then after she's done, we're going to thank our sponsors and then uh, have a huge shout out to the listeners for uh, you know, starting this season too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the website, we have pelvicharmonyco.com, Instagram, pelvicharmonyco underscore. What am I missing? Email is pelvicharmonyco at gmail. And then address of your lo- your location and uh, where your new business is. Yep. 1472 Jersey Street, Denver. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Sweet B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decided her uh, her room's going to be Sweet B. Yeah. Sweet, oh, Sweet B? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Sweet. <laughs> yeah. I, S- S- he was like, I didn't catch on. Uh, Sweet B. <laughs> Not A. Um, but we want to th- uh, we want to thank uh, Caliphala Labs, Gene Planet, O2 Boost, You versus You. Um, am I miss who am I missing? 
oh, uh, it, uh, Herculean Adventures. That's a huge thing. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, if, if you are a athlete or w- were, was an athlete at one time, you're always an athlete at heart. We have an amazing opportunity for you guys. The Herculean Adventure is going to be in Costa Rica February 12th through the 17th. Everyone's going to be genetically tested. There's going to be some physical fitness challenges. You're going to learn and grow. It's amazing. Go to HerculeanAdventure.com to learn more. Uh, sorry. And then um, Impact Academy, you can mention that. And then uh, – O2 Boost uh, as well, and then I think that kind of covers all of our shout-outs. Oh, and Taste Life Nutrition as oh. well as Hyperspeed USA. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. We have so many people that are <laughs> Yeah, we're gaining a lot of momentum, a lot of stuff. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate having you here on Health or High Water. The first episode of the second season uh, Bethany, thanks for coming on. Thank Appreciate you guys gonna, so much. We're going to have you on a lot more. This yes. Is, you're going to be part of the dream team now. So, uh, so yes, yeah, see you guys on the next episode. Bye.